Jesus redeems your worst failures. And we see this in John chapter 20. We're reading about Peter and in verse 5 and 6, 7, he's running to the tomb. He's going to go inside the tomb. He's going to check things out. Jesus is not there. Jesus is risen. And this is the same Peter who just denied Jesus three times when right there before the crucifixion, uh, he, he just was so adamant that he doesn't know Jesus and there was such a strong denial. Maybe you can relate. Maybe in some ways, in terms of your words or even your lifestyle, you've denied Jesus recently and there might be a wrestling with shame and guilt. Peter had all of that and deep sadness and Peter had failure and yet Peter's running to the tomb. I think that says a lot about Jesus. He has such grace and such forgiveness that even though Peter's blown it in the worst way possible, his worst failure ever, and yet he's going to the Lord. I encourage you today to take that worst failure, not live in denial, but take that worst failure and bring it to the Lord. Return to the Lord. He still loves you. He forgives. He's gracious. And if Jesus forgives Peter of that kind of a denial, we know from God's word, Jesus forgives any sin. So go to him directly, run to him, receive his grace. He's risen, he's merciful, and he desires to restore you. Jesus redeems even our worst failures.